Well, with the game still succeeding and the series continuing through the Orange Islands, a second movie had to be made to succeed its predecessor, Pokemon 2000, the second movie from the Pokemon series starring two brand new Pokemon, Slowking and Lugia. If you were one of the lucky kids who got their tickets during the first week, you were treated to an ancient Mew card. If not, you were treated to one of the three bird cards, Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. Now could this movie be just as good or better than the first? Let's find out. Here is Anime America's review on Pokemon 2000. First off, here's the Pikachu short, Pikachu's Rescue Adventure. When Togepi accidentally falls down a hole, it's up to Pikachu and friends to chase after him and bring him back to their humans. Along the way, they meet up with some colorful Pokemon like Blossom and Elekid. This was an overall cute start to the movie, which made me ponder what dramatic experience we were going to see next. And now, the movie. Set in the center of Orange Islands, Ash and the gang are found sailing over the open sea only to have a freak storm push them towards Shamudi Island. Coincidentally, a huge festival is taking place, celebrating an ancient legend, and the islanders are looking for a volunteer to reenact the Chosen One. If you're the main character of a show and your name is Ash, please stand up. This is Ash Ketchum. <laughs> He's a Pokemon trainer. Pokemon <laughs> trainer? And we have our Chosen One. Way to go there, Ash. What could possibly go wrong? This means Ash has to honor the island tradition by going to bird islands and collecting the stones placed at each island. From there, he must place them at the Shimudi Island Shrine where the Slow King resides. At the same time, however, a greedy collector named Lawrence III wants to capture each of the rare birds so he can summon the legendary beast of the sea, Lugia, and collect him as his prize. Of course he does! So in the first movie, we have Ash being summoned to an island to challenge the strongest Pokemon who wants to destroy all of humanity for everything he suffers through. Here, we have Ash in a sudden situation where he goes from celebrating simple tradition to saving the entire world from three angry birds and a greedy collector. Two entirely different stories that I love to watch over and over again. Somehow, even though I believe the first movie has a better story, I felt this one just had more… well, magic. It has its flaws here and there, especially with Ash's coincidental place in the story and a weak villain to make things worse for the world, but I find this movie to be an amazing experience for all to watch. If I had to go into detail over why I think Mewtwo Strikes Back has a better story, it's mainly because of the characters in Pokemon 2000. Ash had a reason to be on Mewtwo's island, he was invited and just happened to be stubborn enough to try and stop all the Pokemon from fighting. Here we have a sudden storm caused by Lawrence III interfering with the birds and Ash just happens to be at the right place at the right time. Then he volunteers to be the chosen one for the festival only to end up being the chosen one for real. And how you may ask? But how are we ever going to find the chosen one if we don't even know where to look? It's right in the legend. The Earth shall turn to Ash. Ash, it's talking about you. I'm the chosen one? Pikachu. Please tell me how it actually was in the Japanese version because wow, that was ridiculous. Thank goodness you happen to be the only kid in the entire world named Ash. Your mom must have been told in her dreams to name you Ash or else, wow, that's a mad coincidence. What should I name my son? Billy... Johnny... Bob... You shall name your child Ash. Ash? I don't know, that seems like it would be a weird name for a boy. Hey, if Gwyneth Paltrow could name her child Apple, you could be a cool mom and name the chosen one. I mean, your son, Ash. Hmm, okay, Ash it is. At least it's not a lame name like Robin. Thanks, Mom. Oh look! Ash's mom is trying to find her way into the plot by dramatically flying in a helicopter with Professor Oak to get Ash in the middle of the planet's biggest storm in history. Smart thinking there, you two. 
as for the villain. Prepare for more trouble than you've ever seen. And make it double. We're on the big screen. No, 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 not you two. No, no, good, good try, though. I'll admit, though, Team Rocket has more of a purpose in this movie than the last, as they actually try to help Ash get to one of the islands so they can live to see another day. No, we're gonna talk more about Greedy McGreedy here, Lawrence the Third. I'm afraid I'm not a trainer, young lady. I am merely a collector. Ah, yes, quite the greedy villain we have here. He wants to collect Lugia for himself, even if it means the entire world is destroyed. Classic villain attitude, the how is he to enjoy his precious collection if the world comes to an end? Not too smart, Ao eh, chap. I guess Mewtwo's original motivation spoiled me since I wasn't that impressed with this villain. I get his purpose was to mess things up so badly that it would cause this mess, but I guess I'm just bored of the stereotypical bad guy who will selfishly bring an end to the world just as long as he gets what he wants. So we have a plain story with a lame antagonist and a protagonist who was at the right place at the right time. Why did I think this was magical? There it is. The music. I forgot to mention that the music in the first movie was brilliant, especially the segment called Tears of Life. But if you were to ask me which movie had the better music, I'd say Pokemon 2000. It was action-packed, dramatic, and breathtaking all at once. Especially my all-time favorite score in anime, The Power of One. Everything about this piece was amazing, from the healing sounds at the beginning to the glorious triumph at the end. The Power of One is just an amazing score that I always keep in my music library. tone of the movie, to the beautiful animation, and the amazing score, Pokemon 2000 is a wonderful movie everyone should see. Yes, Ash's purpose in the movie is coincidental, which can be said about everything else he's in. And the greedy villain is pretty bland. But you have four amazing Pokemon battling it out while the world is facing an apocalypse while accompanied to some amazing music. Those elements alone make up for all the little flaws this movie has. As the Pokemon movies came practically about anything and everything, Pokemon 2000 was thankfully a well-done movie full of charm and magic, which cannot be said for a certain other film I'm reluctant to talk about later. What I mean to say is we live in a world full of disappointing sequels we really wish we had never seen. I think I could say we were grateful this wasn't the case for Pokemon 2000. It's a one-of-a-kind experience that all of you should see if you haven't yet. If you want to see a one-of-a-kind Pokemon movie with amazing action and exceptional music, I highly recommend Pokemon 2000. Oh yeah, and if you ask me about Misty's little temper tantrum over Melody and Ash... Are you his little sister? I am not! Hm. She's a big show-off. I gotta be responsible. That's a switch. You coming, Misty? No thanks. If you want somebody to do whatever you want, whenever you want, you should find yourself a girlfriend. <laughs> Still not as salty as Pearl. <laughs> want to support the production? Check out our brand new store on Store Envy. For a small price, you can have a one-of-a-kind poster made by yours truly. If you can only give a small amount to help us out, check out our Patreon page. Any amount you wish to give us goes towards our production needs, so anything you can give us helps us a lot. To keep up with the latest in Anime America stuff, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Tumblr. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe to Anime America for more awesome reviews and top 10 lists. If you're interested in anything of pop culture, be sure to subscribe to Pop Spectrum. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned to Anime America.